Hey guys, thanks for checking in with the Google Classroom today. What we're going to do or work on is um, a constructive drawing. So I've picked an object from around my house that I like. It's my coffee maker. And I am going to attempt a constructive drawing of it. Now this is just a demo. So the work, you know, I mean there's, there's levels to the work you put out there. There's the stuff you do that's just for you. You're figuring out what works, what doesn't. Um, there's the stuff you do to show people how something might work. And then there's like, you know, gallery quality work. What I'm about to do is right in the middle. Um, it's definitely not like work I'd show off, but it, do, it does demonstrate some of the principles that, uh, that I'm trying to teach you guys. Um, we've learned observational principles like negative space drawing or, uh, or blind contour. Uh, we've also learned some constructive shapes. So what we're going to do today is we're going to try to put those two things together. Um, be easy on yourself. This is a difficult task. So uh, just uh, taking a shot at it is good enough, um, but make sure when you do finish a drawing that you post it in the classroom feed and then maybe comment on some of your classmates' work. So uh, thanks again for checking in and I hope you enjoyed today's demo. All right, welcome back guys. So uh, we're picking something that we like from around the house and uh, we're gonna do our best to draw it using constructive shapes. Um, spoiler alert, well maybe it's not a spoiler, but uh, I chose my coffee maker. I got it, it's a wedding gift. It's the nicest coffee maker I've ever owned. Um, and instead of taking a picture, I just looked the coffee maker up on Crate and Barrel because they have professional photographers who take great pictures. So um, that's an option available to you. Um, anywho, uh, here we go. So uh, the first thing I did was I kind of defined the space that my uh, object was going to take up. Uh, I'm attaching the file so you guys will be able to see the original I drew from. Um, and what I want to do is kind of talk you through some of my preliminary steps. Um, and then hopefully if I do a good enough job, I'll be able to turn up the music and uh, speed the finish this up to like, you know, double speed so you guys can work on your own drawings. Um, if I'm not successful, well, that's, you know, ah, you get to feel good. Uh, I wasn't able to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to let you know I'm working with a PC 948 Prismacolor Dark Umber Pencil. Uh, I use that instead of black because the value range goes from uh, this light to a mid and then this Get, let's see how dark we can let's see if I can push that back. This dark. Um, and believe it or not, uh, that is way different from this black PC935 that goes from light to mid to uh, now watch how this dark is just so much darker. Um, and so uh, you know if you have the ability to work with something besides um, a black colored pencil, if it's more like a brown, uh, that's fantastic. If um, you're working with like a yellow though, or something that's very similar to the tone of the page, you're, it's gonna be tough. So uh, here we go. Uh, so I'm looking at the picture and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use one of our observational techniques, which is uh, the negative space drawing. And I am going to just kind of chart the first contour of, uh, of our, our object. So I'm looking and I'm seeing that the corner uh, kind of hits right about here. It's, it's almost like I'm looking at it. And I might not get all the details, but the stronger you are with construction, the more able you're going to be to um, change things in your drawing. All right, we got this nice, let's see, that front plane hits here. I'm going to keep all my verticals parallel to each other. Uh, that, I'm going to make sure I do. And then as I carry over and create the front plane of the uh, coffee maker, look at that. Okay, these two lines are parallel. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. So these, these will be parallel. I'm going to pick this up and about halfway 
is where my other, okay, so there we go. I'm going to pick this up. <clears throat> so I got the base. It's like the tray where uh, it collects all the extra water. Uh, I'm not going to go further than that. I'm going to uh, start to climb up the machine. I'm going back. So what I did there was I used the first contour to kind of get, you know, my, my start. And then I, I went back in with construction. So I'm not just using one technique at a time. Um, I'm using the technique I need uh, when I need it. So it's as needed. Um, it's like, uh, I don't know, it's like a strategy. Uh, so I'm going back to first contour here. Uh, looks like right there, I hope. Sometimes your first contour is gonna be off and uh, I don't want you guys to like sweat that. Uh, like this isn't gonna be perfect, but you know. Uh, it'll be something, so we'll take it. Uh, bring that back in, and then I'm picking this back up, and I'm going up again, and there's this cool negative space shape, so like it looks almost like a puzzle piece. So I'm actually, I'm not drawing handle, and I'm, and then like, that's, they call it the wand, that's where the steam comes up. I'm drawing the space in here. All right, up over and then again I'm still it's like I'm drawing the I'm drawing the space like puzzle pieces right now okay I'm not thinking about form yet uh, sometimes one contour is complex enough uh, in fact a lot of the time that's true um, like for example with the wand all right and then I'm um, kind of looking up here and there's like another negative space. And then slight angle. All right, this is a weird connection. I don't think I got it quite right, but I'm just gonna be brave and connect it. Um, uh -huh. And then we will, uh, let's start. Okay, so this is getting a little bit tied up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start and I'm gonna move over here um, because it's just, it's, it, I don't want to, I'm gonna pick this angle up and put it over here. Um, I don't want to put myself in a position where I, uh, you know, I get, I get too tight or I start working on one area too much that, uh, that happens. Get the negative shape of the hopper, which this is a, this is a nice one because it looks like it hits just a little bit left of center. So I can kind of chart that out and maybe just drop a contour ellipse in. And then uh, right here, look at that. Second contour ellipse. Okay, just the side we see. Um, I'm good enough to pull that off. Maybe you are too. And then we bring these in. Ooh, that is a bad angle. Um, you'll notice I'm not erasing. I really don't recommend you erase. I think that, you know, leave those mistakes and we'll learn, we'll figure out later if they were good to learn from or not. Let's pick this angle and this angle up. Jeez, that's not the angle I wanted. Uh, it's, so usually I spin the uh, page to try and uh, get these angles right. Uh, but since I'm recording, I can't really spin the page. Uh, and I'm looking up at my preview thing and I'm thinking, oh man, like hopefully this, uh, hopefully this, this demo is even like big enough for you guys. So uh, there we go. So I've got kind of like, this is a very rough, rough, rough outline. Um, I've, I've combined constructive shapes with uh, observational techniques. And what I'm going to do now is it's been seven minutes of me talking. I'm going to speed the video up and try to knock in and build off of this and uh, get it right for you guys because I, I really think you'd like to see a good drawing today. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to take it up to about double speed. And I hope you have a great day.